welcome back to this channel once again. And for those of you who are new here, my name is Freddy. A big hello to you as well. Okay, so this is quite a painful story to share, but I feel it's a good segue onto today's topic on pain protection films for bicycles and why you may find this to be useful. So, about a year back, I sent in my Bianchi XR1 for some custom paint job and absolutely loved how it turned out. Big mistake though, I was under this delusion that the good looks would last forever, and clearly it did not. Don't get me wrong though, it's got nothing to do with the paint job quality, but rather everything to do with the roads that I've been riding on with gravels all over the place. As you can see here, my bike has sustained all sorts of damages from paint chips, scratches, sewer marks, you name it, it's there. So it really pains me to see the bike at this state, and I've currently sent it in for some paint touch-ups. Once it's back, and to keep it looking good for as long as possible, I am definitely going to send it in to the professionals to apply paint protection films on it. While my Bianchi is still being touched up, I certainly do not want to walk down the same path with my Argan 18 T119, which is still in pretty good shape right now. So after some research, I've decided to entrust this project to the experts at Ride Cool, who carries the world-renowned Expel films and also have vast experience with all sorts of bicycles. So let's pay them a visit and get a glimpse of this process, shall we? Let's go! Okay, so I have here with me the team in Ride Cool who are kind enough to spend some time with me to answer some of the questions you may have before engaging them for the pain protection film services for your bicycles. So I have here with me Keen and Eileen from Ride Cool. Would you like to say hi to the to the folks? Hello. Hello. Hi everyone. <laughs> okay, so they are going to walk us through the whole process later and it's going to be captured on camera. So I probably won't cover that in this segment. Uh, perhaps one of the burning questions I had before engaging them was whether there is a need for me to send the bike to a mechanic to strip it down to the frame level before sending it in. Can you take us through? Yeah, no, you do have to strip down your bike. Oh, okay, okay. So it's pretty convenient, I guess, if you don't have to strip down your bike and you just send it in because it can save a lot of time, money and hassle. Yes, that's right. Yes. And the expert will help you on that later. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, we just send the bike in and Keen here is going to navigate through all the weird corners, nooks and crannies and all that uh, to make sure that a good job is being done. Okay, okay, that's pretty reasonable. Uh, so I think the next question everyone will be interested to know is that how long will this whole process take? Mm, about 7 to 10 days, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I think 7 to 10 days is pretty reasonable um, considering the fact that you don't have to dismantle the bike and there's a lot of weird corners to navigate, right? Okay, and I think uh, when it comes to workmanship, it's probably not wise to do a rush job okay. and give you ample time to make sure that a good job is being done. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, pretty reasonable, 7 to 10 days. Uh, the next thing I'm sure most of you will be interested in is the characteristics of the film that can offer protection. Can you walk us through? Yeah, let me show you. Okay, let's look at some of the protection char characteristics that the film can bring. Let's go! Okay, so one of the main characteristics that the film protection offers is stain resistance. So Keen here has invited me to use a permanent marker to draw on Eileen's bike. So are you sure I'm going to draw on it? Sure. Sure, I can have a go. Sure. Okay, I'm not going to be responsible for anything. Uh, a little bit worried, but I'll have a go. Oh wow, it's, it's, really impress it's really impressive because I, I just used a permanent marker to draw on it and all Kin did was just to wipe it off and it's gone in seconds. Really, really impressive. <laughs> Lucky nothing happened to Eileen's bike. Okay, another important feature is hydrophobicity, which means to say the ability to repel water off paint surfaces. I think it's an important feature to have on bicycles to prevent the rusting of the frame as well. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think so. Let's look at the water behavior on the paint surfaces, which is protected by the film already. 
Wow. As you can see, the water just rolls off the surface and it's pretty hard for you to stick on it. Pretty cool. Hydrophobicity. Okay, so the next important feature is the self-healing properties of the protection film. Kin here has invited me once again to do something really dangerous to Eileen's bike, which is to use a steel brush to scratch the surface and subsequently he will just demonstrate the self-healing properties of the film. Again, are you sure? Yeah, sure. Sure? Yeah, sure. Sure. Wow, really impressive again, once again. This film has never failed me through these three components. So I'm really, really impressed. The frame is thoroughly inspected to highlight any damages that were sustained prior to entering the workshop. There will also be discussion on the kind of films recommended to use on this frame. And Keen proceeded to explain that the frame will be thoroughly cleaned before the installation process begins. Pretty cool. So I have seen a few wrap installations where the installer will simply lay the film over the items and manually cut it to shape. I'm not sure how precise it will be, but what impresses me here at Ride Co is that they have their own proprietary method to have the bike measured up to a high precision, which is not convenient to be shared on screen, uh, and have it digitally plotted and cut by this device over here to a high level of precision. So this is my film being cut right over here for my bike. Excited to see how it turns out. Another misconception that I've always had was that the paint protection film will only be installed on crucial areas. However, Kim just told me that the installation will cover the entire frame, which is a good level of protection to have. So as you can see here, Kim is really concentrating on installing the film on my bike. So I better get out of his way and stop bothering him. Okay, the wait is finally over. Today is bike collection day from the paint protection film installation process. There are a few things that I really like. Firstly, I have a deep appreciation for their workmanship, such that if you don't know where to look, you can't really find the seams, so it's pretty seamless in that sense. Secondly, I think the whole installation process has been very convenient and well thought out. I especially like the fact that I do not have to dismantle the bike before sending it in, so that's a big plus for me. Thirdly, and most importantly, it's a peace of mind that I have from now onwards to ride on roads full of gravels. So it's been a while since I rode this, going out for a ride now. See you!